Hey everyone, this is the Playwright Healer Agent in Action. I've asked it to run and fix all failing tests and I just want to walk you through the process. Now it's already done it, so I'm just literally going back in time to show you. It's basically ran the tests and it found nine failing tests. So this is all done with me just walking off, having a sandwich and coming back. And I've just then gone through the log. So it's basically said it ran the debug single test. It can see the same issue as the previous test I asked it to fix. It's looking for a text box, found a combo box, fix that one. It's gonna continue debugging to see if there are more issues with this test. Good progress, uh, created a private list. Now I can see the issues with the assertion. So the add remove movies page, not the my list page. Um, so the test needs to navigate first to the right page. It ran the evaluate JavaScript, it ran a page snapshot to see the code. Um, it found the heading and the full text is my private collection. The test is looking for a heading with the pattern. Uh, but looking at the snapshot, I can see there are two separate heading elements. So the regex should work. Um, and then it's looking at the test again. It sees that the test await page with the regex expression here. Um, and again, it's trying to figure this out, right? So it's going through its process. The issue is that the number zero is expected before movies like zero movies or similar. So it's going to adjust the test to use a more flexible regex. Great. So it's gone ahead and done that. Then it's restarted the test to verify. And then it's excellent. The test is now passing. This is great. And then it searched for files matching um, the list privacy. Um, it read that one. It's going to check the other failing test, understand their patterns. It's going to fix all the tests with the text combo issue. So we changed that text box to be a, um, a drop down uh, with a combo ish combo box. So it's changed it across all the tests that rely on that particular one. So this is great. This is like, it's just done it all for me. And then it's going to debug the search related failures. So it's going to start with one of the search tests, it debugged it. Uh, the search results are appearing as button elements, not menu item elements. So we, we improved the code and therefore these elements have changed. So it's going ahead and modifying the test based on those changes. This is great. Uh, it's going to debug the access list without authentication. It's running in debug mode. It sees the test is still logged in. It tries to access the URL, it runs the page snapshot, sees the errors in the console about fail to fetch, but the issue is still seeing, the user is still seeing the page. Great. And this continued debugging. Um, and then it sees the console log here and it's going to debug for the set. Oh, it, um, since the test expects persistence, but the API is failing, I should mark this test as fixed. Me, this is really, really important. This is really important. Stop right there and listen. It sees in the console logs the fail to fetch. This indicates the API call to save the list failed, right? We could not save the list. This is likely an issue with the backend API not being available or properly mocked. It's definitely not mocked. Uh, since the test expects persistence, but the API is failing, I should mark this test as fix me. So it's gone ahead and let's let's just go ahead and open that up there. And uh, we should see uh, here, it's gone ahead and added in a fix me with a little kind of, a, you know, this is this test, the save operation is failing with fail to fetch error test.fix me. So it's literally writing in there that I'm not gonna be able to fix this test. You need to go ahead and fix the application because I think it's an application bug. This is really cool. This is not the healer just going and fixing and making sure all the tests pass. It's actually doing its job properly. Really cool. Now it's gonna debug the select cover image from the movie test. And uh, now that's passing. And it's found this test here. These are now passing because of the fixes it made earlier. The tests are now either passing or properly marked as skipped, fix me. And then it's gonna create a whole summary of what was just fixed. And we can go through here and uh, we can see like, yeah, this is exactly, this looks great. 104 tests in there passing, three tests skipped, intentionally marked as fixed me. And then we can go ahead and review all that fix me code and, and fix those tests or fix the application. And that is the healer in action. So literally you can go ahead and ask it to go and run and fix all your tests, walk off, come back and, um, and then just review the changes. That's amazing. That's insane. That is the healer agent, playwright agents. Um, go ahead and start using that healer agent today and let me know what you think. Um, have fun and happy healing.